finally, ladies, every sportsman or woman wants to perform in an arena with a huge crowd in yes. it. You, you go to the new camp from Real Madrid, Barcelona, it's 90 odd thousand. When you go to the, the you, you, I'm sure you see the stands in the IPL when um, RCB play Night Riders in the people, Sell out man, crowd. Yeah. You know, I'm sure that you want to see yourself there in, in that kind of arena. So I say that to ask this question. Women's cricket, of course, is growing. The ICC has done much in recent time. The WICB, as malign as, as they have been for many things, have done a lot for women's cricket. Do you see the game growing apace, or do you think things are too slow where development is concerned to entice more young women to want to take up cricket? I'll go with Stacey first. I think it's growing. It's, I mean, regionally, it is growing. Um, I can say for Trinidad, there's a lot in progress in terms of we play a lot of cricket from the start of the year. There's a local tournament till regional tournament and the other countries, there are players from the other countries that come across and play. So it is growing. Um, then you have players on the West Indies team presently who are playing in the big bash out there. And it's, I mean, it, it, that shows that we're doing something right. So yes. for mm -hmm. the internationals to want to see us and want us to be a part of their teams. Um, then there's the 2020 World Cup that is now going to be in 2020, 2020 is in Australia yes. and they're going to be hosting it. It's going to be women only. So that in itself, I mean, they have done quite a lot for women's cricket and supported women's cricket, especially in Australia. So seeing it stand on its own, I think it's, it's definitely going to be really good. Yeah, Billy. I think Stacey basically covered it all, you know, um, <laughs> going overseas and playing um, in the Big Bash, all these different leagues coming up now, it definitely shows that women's cricket is moving in a really good direction, you know, um, following in the men's footsteps with all the different leagues all around the world. And then even playing here, you see the crowds getting bigger every time we go to play, so it's really good to see the continuous support and hopefully it can just keep growing. Yeah, finally, prediction time, prediction time. <laughs> two, two. All to play for, the Windies are at home. It's a grudge match because there's a little bit of needle between the England and the West Indies women camps. And we have two of the Windies stars with us. So call it now, as we'd say here in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. What say you, Stacey? I say we're definitely going to have to change that toss. If we don't win the toss, we are going to win the game. We are going to fight to win the game. What say you, Haley? Whatever happens, happens. But I know at the end of the day, we're going to have it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Thank you very much, Haley, Matthew, Stacey, and King. All the very best to you that match on Wednesday at Sabina Park.